Any game, any weapon, any season, just hunt. Welcome to this week's choice. And what are we doing? This week we're going to BC Spot and Stocking up at Bet Nooney Lake Guides and Outfitters. Say, say it again. Bet Nooney Lake Guides and Outfitters. <laughs> we got we went up there with Jim Bruno from Traditions. You guys might remember last year Turn on the we lights. showed we showed him hunting his bear up there. The it's the first time he over. shot a bear. And we're just going to recap that real quick so you can understand how much fun we had up there. We took four bears, three of them were color phase. And the other thing that we need to say before we roll Jim's footage... And mine was bigger. Mine hit was a farther shot, but it doesn't matter. You also need to remember, this week on The Choice, you need to look for the Hoyt sticker. And at the end of the show, we'll tell you what to... The Hoyt to sticker. Can I have that sticker now and put on his mouth, please? The please sticker. roll the footage. The I'm going to push you in the snow iron. My first black bear. Um, again, a re little recap last night. Went to this green field. The farmer told us he was hanging out in the back side of this field a lot of times. He was sitting there. We stalked up in within about 100 yards, made a good shot. Um, it was low light, so we decided to wait overnight. This is what happens, success. We smoked them with the traditions. My bear looked like a little beaver, eh? You know, I've had it with you. Welcome back to the choice. Yeah, you think you're so tall. Look at him. Yeah, okay, big guy. Hey, so can you show me what did the bear do when he swam away? Little beaver swim. Is that how beaver swim? Well, Travis showed me that one. <laughs> Oh no, let's get back into your hunt. <laughs> get down off there, you might hurt yourself. You get a nosebleed? No, but I feel like Travis. <laughs> well, Ralph, what are we gonna do? Well, believe it or not, we spent how many, three hours yesterday? Minimum three hours. Watching this beautiful chocolate bear. He, I mean, his home is on that beaver den. Literally, I mean, huh? Beaver den? Beaver. He thinks he's a beaver. <laughs> That's a beaver house, folks, not a beaver den, oh. but uh, oh. that's okay. <laughs> it's a beaver den. That's where they live. That's their den. It's their oh. house. No, a dam is where the water is. I didn't say dam. Up. A den. Den. We, den. we call that a beaver house. 
Hey. And all, all kidding aside, we watched this bear for over three hours yesterday. Three hours. He never really gave us a, a, a good shot. I mean, we had some, but we wanted, we, we knew Jim and them were coming up. We, you know what I mean? But he's back again. What you gotta do, Ralph, don't think of your friends, think of yourself. <laughs> roll this bear over. Let's roll him over. Traditions, we're gonna smoke them, baby. Congratulations. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> no, you wow. probably didn't need the other shot, but it's better to be safe than sorry. Wow, huh? Two days of this? Yeah, two days of waiting him out. He's a gorgeous bear. I mean, everything worked out. and You know, after yesterday, he got up, he walked right off and started swimming away. We thought, right when he gave me the opportunity, I was going to take it. And what? <laughs> you know what? Yes, sir, what? You made a heck of a shot. Thank you. Thank you. I, uh, Patience prevailed. Boy, I jammed that second shot in there. It popped a blood vessel in my hand. Ouch. <laughs> wow. That was pretty awesome. The boat has to go the other way. I know you're from Canada, but come on. <laughs> you can go any way you want it to go. Shouldn't we flip it over first? No, that's what I mean. It has to go. <laughs> Ow! When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's the moron. <laughs> the moon hits your eye like a you big know, pizza pie, that's, that's a moron. You, how many times have you told us the boat is hot? Hey, hey, hey! Yeah, all over your camera. That's, that's real smart. Hey, hey, knock it off. Yeah. That is the best way to paddle right there. They're called feathering oars. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Guess what? I didn't get the camera. I did not get the camera. I can't go out tonight. I'm wet. <laughs> You've been wet your whole life. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, this is going to be a... This is gonna be fun. I bet you where those cattails are, it's gotta be like more solid ground. If we could maybe bring it in there, Jim. Yeah. We're gonna get wet. Well, I think we should go to the other side of that. I think, isn't that him right here? Where? If I see a brown spot. If it is, then I'm gonna go walk right out there to help it. Okay. We gotta go that way. Okay, who's going first? This is my bear. <laughs> Shoot! <laughs> oh. It's deep, boys and girls. It's chilly. Oh, yeah, well, I know what's gonna happen. Yeah, I'm gonna float away. You watch it. Just so you know, this is all floating. Oh, yeah. Let me know how you make it, Ralph. Okay, Jimmy. Oh yeah, I go down about 10 more feet. Now, did you notice the water level in, in the lake with the floating bog? It seemed to be deeper where Ralph was standing compared to where Jim was standing. 
I don't think the lake was on a curve, on an angle, Ralph. Well, no, what I was going to do was try to put him under him. Yeah, I know. I'm in the middle of it. Jim, what can I say? Once again, we're up here again, buddy. Bat Nooney Lake, it's it's just incredible. You what guys. What bear? What exactly? What more can you say? I mean, we this bear was on the Beaver House yesterday. We had J Jim Jim Bruno from Traditions is up here with yeah, us. He's Dan lessons. Wallace, Posse, and I mean Vicky. It just we watched this bear yesterday. We just couldn't get it the shot, and lo and behold, he was back there again today. Just, I mean, he's, they love the, that beavers up there. I mean, they're just digging them out. And, yeah, it sure is. And, I mean, we've, we've, we've been literally, this is the second day of the hunt. We've had color bears, more color bears that we've seen already this year than we've seen all the other years. Yeah, no, it's, it's been a good year so far. And these muzzle loaders you're hunting with this year, unbelievable. And, I mean, you saw the shots. They're right just through them. Right through them. Welcome back to The Choice. Now, let's get with posse member Dan Wallace as he goes for his first color bear with this tradition muzzleloader. We just came out to the hayfield his last day of the hunt. And back in the back corner where Jim Bruno missed a big cinnamon bear, he's back out there. So me and Jim and Ralph are gonna sneak across the, corner, across the hayfield here. Hopefully we'll get him. I don't think I need to reload for that one. Did you see that? <laughs> yeah, brother. <laughs> got my first cinnamon. Got my first cinnamon. Oh, that's my first color phase right there. Oh, oh. oh yeah. Thanks, man. Thank you. Oh, man. Hey, Danny. It's you been a long you. seven days, but that's four bears for Petunia. This is our third color. Third color, color bear. bear, you betcha. Yesterday we were after some real nice bears also. Congratulations, that's awesome. <laughs> I got my Keller bear. Congrat! wow. Isn't that's he a beauty? Look at it. That's three, three chocolates Yeah. in a week. That's not normal though, is it? No, but uh, we are getting a more population <laughs> of color bears every year, so. Well, I'm glad you are because, well, I, I, I've never seen Keller bears until, until now. And I've been hunting bears since I was 15. And. Oh, he's beautiful. I've saw four or five different color bears. sorry. <laughs> Did you see that? Domestic, wait, mom. <laughs> Dan, how's it feel? I thought I saw a mosquito, you know, in the cold weather. Yeah, you're gonna get a bite. Because of the cloud cover, they're kind of grainy, so I was, I took some pictures of you guys stalking up and stuff. Did you? It. Yeah. Well, you but then the funny thing shot. was, was where I was at, <clears throat> excuse me, where I was at was I'm taking some pictures of, of, of him and. For once, half a second, I look down and I look back up and he's laying down. And then all of a sudden I hear, Pow! he fell before I could hear the sound. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Yeah, so just across yep. the field there. Because I, I, I blink my eyes for like half a second, I look back out and he's down. I'm like, oh, he must have bet now. I thought, 
Oh, dang, he shot it. <laughs> <laughs> like, I missed it. <laughs> oh, he made a heck of a shot on him. That tradition muzzle loader. Just sure folded him. Okay, how far was he? Here. About 165. Wow. Yep. Good job. Yep. Yeah, the, him, wind, the wind was Hit him right in the shoulder right there. In the shoulder. Yep, I put the... We got it sided in a little bit high at 100, so yep. I put it right on the top of his back, dropped it right Just in there. Dropped him. Yep. Awesome. Congrats again. That's Thanks, awesome. <laughs> Welcome back to the choice. Well, now, yeah, it's finally Vicky's turn. That's right. It's my turn. And this is the first time I ever shot anything with a muzzle loader. It was pretty exciting. Got my it first really spear with a muzzle loader. At 112 yards. Yeah, yours is only 84 yards. That's because I was stealthier. I got closer because I was sneakier. Stealthier. I was sneakier. Stealthier and sneakier. sneakier. Sneakier Are and those stealthier. In the dictionary? They're in my dictionary, and if you don't like it. Can you show me the beaver swimming again? No, you're doing a damn good job. Keep it going. No pun intended. Start swimming. Go. <laughs> Get out of here. Give him a little time. Yeah. You guys said good shot though. Oh yeah, you hit him. You hit him real hard. Good, yeah. good. Yeah. It's it's ten. It's five after ten. So we'll give him an hour or two hours. Just give, to give him relax. a little bit of time and you just. <laughs> well, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> there might be some question out there, Jim, and I know that we'll get the email. Is that? Well, I'm shooting on a road. These roads aren't used by um, anybody anymore, so they're sort of a, a main travel and food source for the bears. We've waited about 40 minutes, and we're just going to go up and see where the impact was at. Yeah, minutes. the longest 40 minutes. We're going to just go up there. That's, that's the dead tree there that he was standing right by. So we're just going to go up and look at shot of impact and see what we can see quietly. Well, he was standing there. You guys saw. He, yeah, no, he, that's he exactly jumped pretty where good. He shot. And he ran down right yeah. over here. There he is, Vic. Go. We didn't have to go look at that impact. I'll, I'll go behind. Well, his head is. Oh, what a His head bear. is facing us. So. That was a crash we heard. Yeah. Oh. He crashed right into this branch. Oh, beautiful yeah. bear. Look at how beautiful chocolate. Oh. Good teeth on him. Wow, that's a thick hide. That's nice. That's prime. I've never shot a chocolate. So that's I not bad for my first, first muzzle loader. That a blonde. Yeah, I think, <laughs> actually, I think it's bigger than Ralph's. <laughs> Jim, thank you so much. We're up here at Bat Nooney Lake Guide and Outfitters, and I said that correctly, Bat Nooney. <laughs> yeah, well, thank you again for coming up this year and having a oh. wonderful hunt. And uh, like always, bear. you're more than welcome to come back. Well, thank you again. I appreciate it. Congratulations. <laughs> thank you. We sure hope you enjoyed this we week's We sure hope you enjoyed this week's show choice with Bat Nooney Lakes Guides and Outfitters. You're having issues today. <laughs> Close it. We want to thank Jim and Lyle for having us up there once again. We want to thank Jim Bruno and Dan Wallace for joining us up there and having an awesome bear hunt. 
four bears on one trip in one week. That was a, that it was, was it was really amazing. That was amazing. Spot and stalking in BC. That was awesome. We hope you also looked around and seen if you could find that Hoyt sticker. If you did, you need to go to huntingnet.com/the-choice. Give us information. Tell us where you saw it. It'll be you know someone's gonna win a surprise. Someone might get lucky. So. Anyways, we hope that you enjoyed this week's show, and we hope that next week you'll make your choice. The choice. See you next week. <laughs>